What's up everybody, 915 Mag here doing a video today. We'll be talking about Aptasia. This Aptasia is in my 150 gallon reef tank. As you can see, it's ugly um, and it stings corals. Uh, it prevents growth. It's just ugly and it's a pest. The other video that I did was on the Nudibranch uh, Bergias, which I am currently using. I'm using this in my 25 gallon lagoon and uh, they seem to be doing the job they are working but if you have a reef tank with a ras or something like that that they can hunt these neuterbrank bergias then you might not want to uh, introduce them to your tank they do eat aptasia they do work but you just gotta think about that so what I'm doing is I picked up a wand I picked it up from Marine Depot and it's the Mohano wand and it's for Aptasia, Mohano anemones, pest anemones and they're $130 on uh, Marine Depot and then there's for the regular size one and then the other one is $124.99 uh, which is the mini Mohano wand for like nano tanks and things like that but in my opinion might as well get the big wand because it's only a couple of dollars more and uh, it definitely can reach those hard to reach spots so also just quick note um, if you want 10% off use that code 915 mang on checkout on Marine Depot and uh, that will save you a little bit of money so let's check out what it looks like, what it comes with, what this Mohana one is all about. I did buy this. I did pay the $129. It was on sale, which I waited for the holidays because things usually go on sale. And then, of course, I got a little bit of a discount with my code. Uh, but check it out, guys. This is hopefully going to work on my 150. Um, of course, you know, you can get other things like you know fish that eat it the peppermint shrimp um, and I was gonna do all that but the way I thought about it is I just plug this thing in and uh, go ahead and uh, hit those aptasias and let's see how it works and I don't have to worry about feeding them or anything like that I don't have to worry about my rats eating the nudibranch bergias so that's why I got the Mohano one right away when you open this product they're gonna tell you that you know you got to be real careful with it it's really delicate and so I was really really worried about the tip of the uh, the one um, it is pretty thick it's not as thin as uh, they make it out to be if you're clumsy you know you got to be careful and watch out with that but I was using this thing around and didn't have a problem I didn't uh, throw away the box um, usually I just open stuff up throw the box away I have no need for that but for this one I'm gonna go ahead and uh, store it now my tank is pretty tall um, but as you can see the wand reaches everything pretty nice so I don't really have to get my hands wet or anything like that you can see it covered right there with the tip once you're done you know just put the cap back on and store it of course you gotta when you expose something to salt water you gotta rinse it off with uh, clean fresh water and then dry it off and store it so that's why I'm keeping the uh, box how many of you guys keep something like this already have this product use it how has it been working out for you guys drop it down in the comments below I've had this one for about three weeks so we're gonna get it plugged in and we're gonna get it started and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and we'll take a look and difference of the before and then with uh, my tank now I do like this because you just plug it into the wall and uh, it's ready to go the only thing is you got to be careful with the very tip of the wand because you don't want to mess it up and you also got to be uh, careful with the controller the controller is a good distance away but I can see how that thing could probably possibly get wet and uh, you definitely want to keep it dry as you can see uh, the Aptasia it seems to work okay but you know the Aptasia will 
uh, shrink themselves up and make it difficult for you to touch them. So what I was trying to do is not only trying to use the tip of it, I was trying to hit them with the side of the uh, metal probe. When I was doing this, um, I did, definitely didn't read directions. I just opened it up, plugged it into the wall, took the cap off and started zapping away. But uh, it, there does a there is a rule limit guidance on how to use this one. Uh, my tank is a 150, so it's a little bit over 150. And uh, it says for 20 minutes. You're not supposed to use this product for more than 20 minutes. And not only that, but when you're um, shooting them with the gas and making contact with the enemies, you don't want to do it for hold that button for continuously you want to do it in bursts so i'm talking like 30 seconds up to one minute but no more than that guys so try not to get carried away because it is definitely a lot of fun to go ahead and zap these little guys and uh, they are pretty annoying they do spread into your tank by releasing spore spores and uh what i was trying to do i have a bunch on my sand bed i was hitting them and then i was pushing that uh, metal probe into the sand making contact with them and then pulling them out. Some tips, like I said, I didn't read the directions when I used this. Um, I didn't read them till afterwards, but you wanna have your flow off and after you, you're done getting the bits and pieces of it, you wanna siphon them out of your tank. And it's gonna be a lot easier to do when you just siphon them out with the flow off, guys. So try to do that. Of course, remember not to get the controller wet and to rinse it off when you're done using it but it is a lot of fun it's like power tools you're going to find any reason that you can to use it and uh, if you have a few hey go ahead and hit them up if there's a reefer in your area that has this go ahead and hit them up so you can borrow it um like for me if somebody needs it i'm definitely going to charge because i paid the 130 dollars uh, for this product or maybe i would trade them some corals but we'll see um, but if you're in the area and you need something, some help with your Aptasia, let me know. We'll go ahead and uh, electrocute them, zap them, gas them, whatever. But this thing, it does seem to work when it makes contact with them. But then again, uh, they do retract and you really don't know until the, a couple of hours later. Of course, after you're done, as mentioned, uh, it will still have a little bit of power. So what I was doing is I was unplugging it holding the button and then the uh, power light would ac actually start to go away and then I uh, rinsed it with the water hose and just put it back in its box and store it because it is fragile it's made out of uh, you know plastic and the tip I don't want it to get broken or anything like that and uh, this is one of the few products that I will actually keep the box for because it's a great box it's compact and uh, it'll protect your thing so there is the Mahana one a little bit about the directions I'm going to show you the chart so you can see how many gallons uh, how many gallons you have and how much you should be able to use it and uh, as you can see I just went off with the 100 and that was 20 minutes really really don't recommend more than that because you know you just start zapping everything and by the time you get to 20 minutes you're already tired so just use it do a few for the day rinse it off and then go back and hit some more the next day and go back and do some more the next day eventually you'll get there so hit that like subscribe button let's go ahead and see um, if this thing really works and some other videos guys but I started uh, planning out my my next day my next assault on these dudes and uh, as you can see these guys haven't got hit yet but they're gonna get zapped as soon as I get a chance. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and uh, maybe useful. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks guys, have a good one.